Oh snap, Blaze is going live. Hey, good day, good day, good day, good day, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me. Hey, just in case you join me for the very first time, I'm your host, the one they call Brian Glace Gibbs. And this is my story. What I do is I talk about the good, I talk about the bad, I talk about the ugly. I share my life experience for one purpose, man. How do we stop this younger generation from making that multi-billion dollar prison system their permanent address, folks? People don't understand. Everybody think you want something until you get it. A lot of times we think we want to be cool. We think we want to be tough. We think we want to be gangster. We think we want to be rappers. We think we want to be something until an opportunity presents itself. Then guess what? That's not what we really want. Today, what I'm going to talk about is this, man. I'm going to talk about my cousin, Freddie Gibbs. Why is the hip-hop community like Benny the Butcher, like Jim Jones, why are they using my cousin, Freddie Gibbs, as if he's a punching bag? I don't get it. Here it is. These guys are into the rap industry. And from my understanding, guess what? Benny the Butcher and Freddie, they did stuff together. They more or less like made, you know, I'm talking about right now, a hit together. So what happened from making a hit together to now they actually, when my entourage see your entourage, or I see you, you see me, it's on. We fighting, punching, grabbing, snatching, doing everything that we should not be doing. Once again, we are entertainer. We're supposed to be out there on the stage, man, rapping, speaking. That's our art. Right now is not being like Mike Tyson in the ring trying to knock somebody's head off. So, folks, what's wrong with that? What happened? Why? I look at first Jim Jones. What happened between Freddie, Freddie Gibbs and Jim Jones? What happened? You know, how in the heck, once again, these are rappers. What they're fighting for? What my entourage against your entourage for? What's that all about? What's that black on black crime about? Over what, man? And like, look at it. We're not little kids, man. We're not snotty those little 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 year old little kids. Grown men in their 40s. But yet and still regards to what? We are still somewhat what you call emotionally immature. It doesn't matter how old we get. We all gonna be somewhat emotionally immature, but we can't do it in public. We can't do it like Tupac say, when all eyes on me. People are watching, especially right now when you got a group of black men. When they come together and y'all go in a restaurant, y'all go out and about in these establishments, throwing blows. Come on, man. Imagine right now, guess what, Jim? Jim, imagine when you and Freddie got into it. Imagine Freddie would've hit his head and died. Or better yet, Freddie, imagine Jimmy would've hit his head and died. So now it went from a scuffle, a fight, assault, to what? What, manslaughter? Homicide? The same question I'm gonna pose to you, Benny. Right now, y'all guys made it, man. Y'all supposed to be setting an example. So imagine you and Freddie in Buffalo after the worst night in history in Buffalo when no, what? 10 black folks got murdered and what that grocery store okay so now y'all guys y'all don't got the news y'all don't got the internet y'all didn't hurt y'all get into a confrontation right now next thing you know imagine f freddie would have hit his head and died or benny would have hit his head and died guess what y'all both would have lost right now because one's going to jail for what 15, 20, 25 years, and the other one is going to the cemetery. So who's the winner? Why? When y'all got an audience, y'all got a platform, y'all got followers, why do y'all have people following y'all all for the wrong reason? And once again, guys, listen, man, why are y'all picking on my cousin, Freddie Gibbs? He is a Gibbs, I'm a Gibbs, I'm Brian Gibbs, he Freddie Gibbs. Why y'all picking on my cousin? You know what? And right now, was guess what? I don't understand everything fully, but the difference is, Freddie, if you out there, and it's a saying that my man Pappy used to always say. How would Pappy Macy always say this? Don't talk that talk if you can't walk that walk. So meaning right now, folks, if you out there and you saying something slick via the internet, via social media, where it spread like wildflower, 
Anything that hit that internet and is hot, people gonna hashtag it, people gonna copy and paste, people gonna send it to everybody else. So the difference is right now, Freddie, if you out there and you're saying something slick and you being you being disrespectful, you're not being mindful, guess what? Drummer gonna follow you, man. Because once again, when you sit back and think about it, you just got into a beef with Jim Jones. Okay? What? Months ago. Now you're getting a beef with Benny the Butcher. So to me, right now, is it you or is it them? Are they just looking at you? Well, here it is, man. We can do this to them and nothing going to happen. Uh, we, you know, right now, we can slap them around. Nothing going to happen. Even though, like I told you right now, was sometime what we have to do is stop being our own worst enemy. Stop putting ourselves in harm's way. Stop saying things that going to come back and bite us on our behind later on, man. I don't sanction none of that because, once again, when you sit back and look at it, who am I to judge? I'm not judging. Only thing I'm trying to do is when I look at a situation, how can we right our wrong? How can, or what can, how, what lesson is there to learn? The lesson is there to learn is we got to stop the nonsense. We got to stop attacking each other. Right now is guess what? We are being attacked. We are becoming endangered species. So we are being attacked. So what we have to learn how to do, how to protect ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Against others, not each other. We supposed to be our brother's keeper. And obviously that is not the case, man. Because once again, Jim and his entourage and Freddie and his entourage wouldn't have went at it. Okay? Uh, um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Benny the Butcher and, and Freddie entourage wouldn't have went at it. You know, but yet and still, it's almost similar. Because once again, when you look at it, man, when you go back to that Will Smith, Chris Rock situation, everybody say, how did Chris handle that situation? Will came up there and slapped him and Chris re maintained his composure. Hey, man, like I told you right now, that is a power move, man. That was a power move because once again, guess what? He showed you how to control his emotion, okay? He showed you right now, I'm not going to act off emotion. I'm going to act off intelligence. Probably still in shock. But once again, when you sit back and look at it, everybody's not the same. So once again, my advice to my cousin, Freddie, get in contact with me, man. Get in contact with me. Brian, B-R-I-A-N, Gibbs, G-I-B-B-S, 1201 at yahoo.com. And right now, listen, man. I can be your personal advisor when it comes down to security. If I don't know anything else, man, I know security, man. Right now, I know security, and I know how to do it the right way. So, cuz, if you're listening, man, and not only that, be mindful, be respectful. Watch what we say. It's not what we say, it's how we say it. It's not what we do, it's how we do it. But what we have to do is set better example, man. We have to set better example for those that are watching us. Because, once again, y'all think, y'all guys, people ain't watching. People watching all your time, they buying your record. They listen to y'all guys. They buy you. They buy. They buy from y'all. They love y'all music. So once again, when you got an audience, make sure right now you putting out the right message, man. It's not what we do. It's how we do it. And right now, hopefully, Jimmy, you know what I'm saying, on uh, 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 Benny and Freddie, y'all can come together and make this right, man. Hey, hit that like button. Subscribe. Share. Peace, love, and prosperity. One love. Just got my copy of Beyond Lucky by Brian Glaze Gibbs. Thank you so much for sending me my personalized autographed copy. I've had the pleasure of knowing you for a long time, so I'm really excited to get to know some of your stories and what made you you and how this redemption came about. I know you're a changed man, and I'm looking forward to seeing the whole process of how it happened. Thanks. Big day, big day. Went ahead and got my book. Beyond Lucky, BGG, Brian Glaze Gibbs, signed autograph copy, means a lot to me, for my brother, day one support, love and prosperity, right back to you my boy, my G, my big homie, my brother, let's get it, Made Media, Mafia Magazine, exclusive, Mafia Apparel, making the future in art, making a difference every day, Still here, let's get it. Free Meach. Rest in peace, baby blue. Have you checked your tire pressure today? I don't have a flat. Have you checked your blood pressure today? No, I don't feel sick.